Hi, Thomas. I've got some green beans for you. Grandma said you needed them to make an order. Oh, she did. Huh. Well, thank you. That will be a help. Stay there a moment. I got something for you. Uh, hello? Who are you? What's it? You can see me? Well, yeah, you're standing right there. Oh, it's just m most humans don't take much notice of me. My family and Thomas's family got a long history. I like to help out where I can. I do too, I guess. Well, you must be a good witch then. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was... Where did she go? Where did who go? Um, the cat. You know, the, the stray? Right. Well, here's something for helping me out. It's not much, but it's what I have. Thanks, Thomas.
Hey there! Are you ready to help your neighbors reach the pinnacle? Uh, pinnacle of what? <laughs> You're funny. Everyone knows about the pinnacle. The climb to the pinnacle is the very foundation of the League of the Conscious Mind. This community is ready for some new ideas, but I'm running out of pamphlets. If you could find me some paper, I'll make sure you are rewarded. Monetarily or spiritually? Both. So, you've decided to climb the pinnacle too? What? No, Cameron just asked for some paper. I heard. For printing pamphlets, which will help spread his ideas. Don't get me wrong. Cameron's a nice guy, but I don't trust the League. And it's strange to see Angus get caught up in this. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I figured. It's easier to act like everyone on the island has good intentions, right? Hey, I'll pay you for that paper too. I could always use more wrapping paper for the store. I did promise Cameron. I know, I know. Just think about it. Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. Should only take a day or so.
what a good pearl. I could eat some food to recover.
sleepy. Grandma, the garden beds are ready. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me like this. I found some seeds in the bottom of a drawer you might like to plant. Otherwise, there's more variety down at Lena's store. Yoo-hoo! Parker stopped by on his way out to let me know the mine was finished. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's looking great! Do you know what that means? I need builder's insurance. <laughs> oh, silly. You can go mining! Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of implied. <laughs> Here, you'll need this to get started. A pickaxe is a handy tool to have around. You can break up rocks to gather some stone, and also mine lots of lovely ore now that this place is fixed up. Now take it in and get cracking! But it's dark, and... And there's probably bugs. You'll want to focus on cracking open the mineral rocks to find ore. Bring me back some iron ore and I can turn it into iron for you. Oh, before I forget, you'll need to keep your eyes peeled for the keys to get further into the mine. Some clever fellow has scattered them about. They're probably buried under fallen rocks by now. But there's lots of great stuff in the mine, so it's worth it. Have fun exploring. Oh, I'm sure I will. Yay. <laughs> I guess I'll need some kind of... Key to the
Oh my gosh, is that iron ore? Um, I think this dirty rock might be some. Oh, it sure is! Look at that! You're a natural. Yeah, this is great. Save some time and take these iron ingots I made. I'll melt these down. I can swap your iron ore for iron anytime, but I'll charge a little for the work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tell me this is about the paper. Are you giving it to me instead of Cameron? Guess who's the lucky winner of the Passive Aggressive Paper Wars? Oh, thank you, Tara. Uh, look, I know this whole thing might seem petty. I mean, a little. I just don't want people to get in over their heads, you know? Here's something for your trouble. Oh, how lucky you stopped in. I've got an awesome Seton family mushroom pierogi recipe just waiting for potatoes and mushrooms. Uh, I thought you were Scottish, not Polish? Oh, mom's side is from Poland. Although we did try filling them with haggis once, which I would mm -mm, not recommend. <laughs> if you can help me out, I'll give you a cut of the sale price and some carb-loaded goodness to take home.
am I ready for bed? Stay a moment, honeybee. How are you finding the town now that you've met everyone? I know we're a bit different than the folks you might have known back in the city. That's a good thing, actually. I needed to say goodbye to all of that. For now, at least. You haven't said much about your fiancé. Do you want to talk about what happened with... I'm sorry, I have such a bad memory for names these days. Matt, there really isn't much to say. I woke up one day with a note next to my pillow saying that we were over. We haven't spoken since. <laughs> what a coward. Grandma. I'm sorry, but it's true. My view is too many folks take the easy way out these days. You deserved better than that, Tara. Thank you, Grandma. On this island, when folks want to break up, they'll tell you to your face. It's a bit of a convoluted tradition, actually, but... Well, we're putting the cart before the horse, aren't we? And maybe it's time for you to get back on the horse. Anyone caught your eye yet? I'm not sure I'm ready to date again, Grandma. Come now. You can't spend all your time doing farm chores. You've gotta live a little. Really? I'm happy just to make new friends. For now. Fine, fine, suit yourself. But if you really want to make new friends, a little generosity never hurts. Here, take this and give it to Thomas. You'll see what I mean. Hello! How are things on your farm? I've been thinking, perhaps you would like to try your hand at raising livestock. Like, cute little sheep and stuff? That would be so much fun! Great! All we have to do is rebuild the broken down ranch by Thomas's farm. Wait, what? The previous rancher sourced all of the livestock for farms on the island. If you find the materials to rebuild the ranch, I can ask Parker to fix it up. And we can flip it to a new rancher who has inquired about moving here. Would make us a tidy little profit. And you could then keep chickens, cows, and such like. Uh, okay, I'll help. <laughs> Wonderful. Just bring the materials to Parker when they're ready.
maybe I just don't have a good memory. But when I was little, didn't your farm look different? Probably. I was growing more kinds of crops back then. That was right after my mom left the farm to me. I was ambitious in those days. <laughs> Tried growing a little bit of everything. Now I grow what actually suits the soil. Here's some cornbread, Thomas. Grandma made it. Oh, thanks for bringing it by. That's very kind. Sure, you're welcome. Well, did you give Thomas the cornbread? Yes, and he seemed to like it. <laughs> well, Thomas is a bit hard to win over, but I think you two will get on fine, and giving him his favorite food will certainly help. Ah, so what you're saying is I should bribe my way into my neighbor's hearts. Exactly. Well, talking to them once in a while helps too. You'll get to know him better that way. And maybe soon you'll find someone you really want to get to know. You get my meaning. Yep, I think I got it, Grandma.